Welcome back to Quick Statics Answers. Today's question is, two forces act on the skew caster. Determine the resultant moment of these forces about point A and about point B. First, we will redraw the given 60 degree triangle in pink and shift it to the bottom left corner of the image. Knowing that the total angles should add up to 90 degrees, we can draw another green triangle with inner angle of 30. We will use this triangle to help us find the x and y distances of the forces from point A. Let's find x1 first. x1 is 1.25 times sine 30, which results in 0.625 inches. Next, we'll find y1. y1 is 1.25 times cosine 30, which results in 1.083 inches. Now we have all the necessary information to find the moment about point A. We'll find the moment of the 80 pound force about point A first. This moment is the force times its distance from A, which is 0.625 inches. The result is 50 pounds per inch in the counterclockwise direction. The moment of the 10 pound force about point A is the force times its distance from A, which is 1.0823. The result is 10.8 pounds per inch in the counterclockwise direction. To find the resultant moment about A, we will add those two moments together and the result is 60.8 pounds per inch in the counterclockwise direction. Now we will move on to the next part of the question. First, we will redraw the given 60 degree triangle in pink. We will use this triangle to help us find the x and y distances of the forces from point B. Let's find x2 first. x2 is 2.5 times sine 60, which results in 2.165 inches. Next, we'll find y2. Y2 is 2.5 times cosine 60, which results in 1.25 inches. Now we have all the necessary information to find the moment about point B. We'll find the moment of the 80 pound force about point B first. This moment is the force times its distance from B, which we can find by subtracting X1 from X2. The resulting moment is 123 pounds per inch in the clockwise direction. The moment of the 10 pound force about point B is the force times its distance from B, which is the sum of y1, y2, and the given two inches. The result is 43.3 pounds per inch in the counter clockwise direction. To find the resultant moment about B, we will add those two moments together, and the result is 79.7 .7 pounds per inch in the clockwise direction. And there you have it, quick statics answers.